So OpenAI have launched ChatGPT Search. Originally it was thought this was going to be called Search GPT, but it's now going to be called ChatGPT Search and it's OpenAI's rival to Google. It works in a similar way as any other internet search engine such as Google or Bing. However, it's got added AI features. So what it does is collate all the information from a number of websites and then gives you a nice combined single result with references to those websites, something that previously to the launch of ChatGPT search, ChatGPT wasn't very good at. So it's available on ChatGPT Plus for now. It will be launched on the enterprise version and the education version and the free version in due course. It's also available on the mobile app and the recently launched desktop app. So how does it work and what does it look like? So you'll see that we've got a new globe icon here at the bottom. And if we hover over it, it says search the web. So if I select that, it will enable the feature so that you can directly use it. However, even without it being enabled, it will invoke the new feature when it is required. So let's ask it a question such as, can you recommend a provider? Uh, oh, it's come up with, hello, how can I assist you? That's interesting. A provider of prints to training courses and Exam. So just going to fire that off and it says searching the web and it realizes that I'm in Cardiff and it's come up with NILC training. So it's given a map there to NILC's office on Cathedral Road. Uh, it has actually mistakenly said these providers and it's only given us one, but I did only ask for, for one. So perhaps a slight mismatch there. And we have got the sources here of all the different information that it's browsed to come up with this single answer. So let's try another example. So we'll fire off a, a fresh chat here. And this time, let's say, what business networking events are on in Cardiff this month? And let's this time, let's invoke the actual web search and we'll fire that off and once again you can see it's searching the web and the panel here has come up with all the uh, sources uh, which is pretty handy so I can click on these to go to any particular website and you'll see from the 5th of November right through to the end of the month we've got a whole selection of network events that it's suggested and it's also referred me to a comprehensive list of events on this website and here again are the sources so pretty handy result there. Uh, let's try one more. So let's say what can you tell me about Laptop Friday and what time does it start? So this time I'll just fire it off without selecting the globe icon and yep once again it's searching the internet it's telling us about the event it's got a reference to Eventbrite there, uh, and we've got the timing, so it has actually answered my question. So all in all, uh, pretty handy, and I would say a very useful, if not better, alternative to Google, albeit on that small sample of search queries. So what if you actually want to replace it in your browser? So there is an extension for both Chrome and Edge. So I'm using Edge here and I have installed the accept extension. So if we go up to the top here, drop down to extensions, you'll see that I've got ChatGPT search there. And what this means is that if I use the browser to carry out a search, it will automatically use ChatGPT. It's the default and it's the default search engine for the browser. So let's put in a query. So what time uh, do the trains travel from Cardiff to London? Uh, yeah, uh, let's say on weekdays. Let's try that. Oh, and how much are the tickets? How much are the 
tickets so sort of thing that you might ask google but this time it's actually fired up chat gpt uh, i know we we're on it already but you can see what it did there in the uh, browser and weekdays it specified the weekdays that i've asked for it's got the departures every 15 to 30 minutes it's used train line for the source of information there it's got a whole range of trains use train line again it's got ticket prices which quite rightly uh, states that uh, it is um which are varied uh, and we've got a number of sources that also reference the transport for Wales site rail Europe as well as train line so pretty handy comprehensive answer probably quicker than actually going on to trainline.com or the train line app and uh, getting the answer there uh, so yeah if you saw the extension you can basically put your query directly into the browser address bar at the top and get your results so there we have it uh, an early review and early impressions of chat gpt search